Good morning. And like I always say, why do you need glasses when you have a bottle? Mm. Oh yeah. <clears throat> this video is all about, you may have noticed a couple of weeks ago, I changed my channel name to Wild Bill Longley. This video is all about how you young retards, just like I was when your age, don't know shit about history because you listen to your teachers and your interweb and all that other crap. It's a bunch, it's a pile of feces. And yeah, I got my, because I want to be sure I'm heard correctly today, I got my headphone on. <clears throat> Look, there are five masters of history in my immediate or extended family, most of which are now dead. Bye, sissy. She was a cousin of mine. And bye, Jack Lamar Lewis, you coach, <laughs> football coach, history, uh, psychology, weirdo. Uh, 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 what's the other terms? Anyway, <clears throat> you know, like... Uh, Automatic riding, uh, psychic uh, weirdo. Uh, Ohio boy that went Californicado. Look, for you people that count on the interweb and Google for your history, you're screwed. Cause you, please, I've checked over a hundred stories. Everything from the Munich massacre, which I dated the. Uh, niece or cousin of the founder of Black September who carried out the massacre of the Israeli uh, uh, Olympians in Munich okay I also if you want to check one of the greatest serial killers in in American history Elmer Wayne Henley he used to be in my you know possession in my uh, custody and the Wikipedia, etc., all the web stuff is 100% wrong because I actually knew the guy. And I had some other thing I wanted to refer to, but I, fuck it now. It's, I'm already three minutes in. I need to get on with the story. I want to try to keep it short because I can't hardly get an upload done unless it's real short out of here, you know, a minute or two, unless I go to town. It's a matter of prioritization. They're receiving my signal, YouTube is, but they keep buffering and stopping my halting my uploads because I'm not in town. They can tell I'm not in town. Actually, Google eh, doesn't have any information on me. Same like Facebook, etc. You aren't going to catch me. So. Let me tell you about the real Wild Bill Longley. From people who actually knew him. <clears throat> the stuff you'll find on the... Uh, was it uh, Google Pages are all... Written by Yankee occupiers. That's what I need to start off with. Is that you know in, by 1865, this area was infiltrated by weirdo, drunk Yankee, but mostly white boys, but among, many of them, like the Army boys, the Union boys, led uh, you know actually in the nearby uh, county, nearby county seat there's even a street called the buffalo street where they housed or quartered the uh buffalo soldiers and in the neighboring county uh there's literally a hundred doctoral papers written typed out by hand it's still in the you know, only on the uh 
that they talked about the fact that these when these Yankee carpet baggers who not only sent 250,000 orphans off the streets of New York down to the south in Texas to anybody with just with no supervision, just anybody could take them up and use them as slave labor. That tells you everything about Yankees. Abraham Lincoln was a total loser, racist loser, who could have corrected the uh, 1861 budget and prevented a civil war, or actually a war between the states, because the 1861 budget, they put $69 million of the $71 million of tariffs, which is constitutional, that's the way that they used to operate, on southern and Texas ports. My own uh, great-grandfather lost almost $300,000 that year. His cotton crop was a total non-profit. That's why he funded, from this end, he'd already funded a Texian rebellion, and he funded a civil war because of uh, Spaniards and Yankees. Okay, let's get on with Wild Bill Longley. The, name of this current okay on my mother's side there was a cousin named Wild Bill Longley in this area after 19, 1865 people came down here all kinds of people from uh, Buffalo soldiers and Yankees in uniform and Yan little carpet bagging Yankees at 140 pound Yankees with a a carpet that was turned into a bag so they could come down here and rape, rob, and uh, murder, and um, uh, do these incredible real estate schemes, which our remaining records show that they would, you know, was, were scamming people. They even wouldn't even use the, they would use initials to the real full name, and so on. But anyway, I'll get to the point more quickly now. <clears throat> I had a cousin who was like me, a real man. His name was Wild Bill or William Longley. <clears throat> Don't believe what the Yankees write in, on, on, on Google. There are a bunch of fucking Yankees wrote his history to justify their execution of him. You're such a bunch of homos. You know, by 1865, we were overrun with these weirdo, loser, piece of shit mofos called carpetbaggers and union soldiers, etc. And for those of you who don't know it, for the first two years of the war between the states, I'm not going to call it, it wasn't a civil war. Almost all battles were won by Texans under General Hood and General Robert E. Lee from this area. From, I'm sorry, let me, where's it at there? From this area, okay? Which left a whole lot of Confederate widows in this area for Yankees to prey upon. And I mean rape. You motherfuckers. So. I have less than six minutes left. So my cousin. Wild Bill Longley. When he was 15 and saw this shit going on. Down around the Giddings area. And all around here. There were. Literally a thousand Confederate widows left alone, trying to tend homesteads, etc., getting raped by Negroes and uh, Yankee homos and stuff like that. And so, when he was 15 years old, my cousin Wild Bill Longley loaded up his his horse with jerky and bullets and went out a hunting the carpet baggers who raped him. he's known around here amongst true historians 
as the defender of Confederate win widows. You won't find that on anywhere on on the interweb because they're just telling some bullshit that they got drunk and read in some uh, you know stacks whatever went out. But <clears throat> I'm telling you right now, I, I I am much like a couple of my ancestors, the Maddock, the Prince of Wales, and uh, Wild Bill Longley. You know, it didn't matter if you were black or white. If you were some thug that raped Confederate widows and took off into the night. Because back in those days, tracking a horse was the easiest thing possible. It was better than DNA. You know what I'm saying? Better than DNA. <clears throat> Once he got a report... my. Actually, my cousin, Wild Bill Longley, started when he was 15, wasn't hanged until he was 27, over in Giddings, by a, a, you know, after a conviction by a Yankee jury and a Yankee judge. The Yankees took over all of everything here, the, the, the uh, schoolhouses, the courthouses, everything. They just, they were total occupiers. They're the most vicious Actually, every courthouse in Texas, from Fredericksburg to almost to Houston, had to go to uh, metal roofs and you know stone walls a long time ago. Because as the uh, indictments would mount against the Yankees, they would just burn down the courthouses. You fuckers don't know anything about history. I've read read many a real original history doctorals. That were, as I said before, were hand typed on the first typewriters on earth. So, I only have three minutes left. I want to talk about my great cousin, Wild Bill Longley. If you raped a local woman here, Confederate widow, he usually got the news, you know, by dark. And then he would track you down in the dark because he, like me, was blue-eyed. We can see horse tracks in the dark, and horse tracks are better than DNA. He would track you down, and then around dawn... I'm sorry, i got to have a swig here. Around dawn... <clears throat> he would bust in your door with either his horse or his foot... And shoot your ass dead. And yet the Yankees on the interweb keep telling the Yankee way. <clears throat> no. Wild Bill Longley was a real man who had no fear of anybody. And he killed probably 200 Yankee invaders before they finally, a uh, Yankee jury, convicted him and hanged him in Giddings, Texas, when he was 27 years old. You know, much like me, Wild Bill Longley always did the right thing. He hunted down bad people that the local authorities, which were run by the Yankees then, wouldn't even look at. And he killed them mofos at first light. He loved, because they knew they would be drunk, hung over, and asleep. He loved busting in them doors and shooting them right in the fucking nuts, guts, and head was his technique. Nut, guts, and heads. God bless Wild Bill Longley and fuck all of you homo. Yankee, California, Cotto, rapist, uh, loser, mofos. Go to hell. <clears throat>